Alrighty guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So I just surpassed 11,000 subs. Thank you guys for that. And uh, I think today we're just gonna do some tarpon fishing. Um, right now I'm gonna start off with this guy. You guys can see that. That is a DOA Terrorize, one of the most popular tarpon baits around. Probably one of the best uh, lures for tarpon ever. Um, especially for these river tarpon, these juvie tarpon, they absolutely love it. It's kind of a weird looking bait, I know, but it actually does work. So we're gonna try for some tarpon early in the morning, then later in the day we're gonna grab some mullet and hopefully go for some snook, and then hopefully some more tarpon as well. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and let's, uh, let's catch one. All right, so I just saw two roll in front of me right here. These are super, super slow rolls. And I think of the slow rolls as the, the good rolls. Like the, like when tarpon roll, they sometimes roll differently. Sometimes they're very high and, and straight down. Sometimes they're very slow and it seems like they're staying on the surface and just very slow. That's what I'm seeing right now. And I think um, those rolls uh, produce the most eats uh, from the fish. So I think a lot of times in deeper water, those tarpon will go straight up grab air and then go straight down you know, and those those tarpon are harder to get to eat but the ones that are you know really slow are the ones that are usually in shallow water and find lures very easily yeah here they are not a ton out here right now but there's definitely some to be caught right here there's one right in front of me All right guys, so change of plans. I threw on this big white top water. This is a Yozuri pencil on my uh, heavy rod. Oh, there's a tarpon over there, two tarpon. And uh, we're gonna try for these tarpon. They were just not having it with the terror eyes. I was surprised. I threw on like 20, 30 rolls and it seemed like they were just, just I, I got nothing out of it. So we're switching up lures. I might try to get some live mullet here in a little bit, but for the most part, I haven't seen almost any mullet. So. I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll throw this here for a second, see if I can get a bite out of one of these tarpon. Ooh, they're like right in front of me. Oh, one's on it. Stay tight. Set the hook good. That was sick. Holy crap. I was basically still filming the intro. Oh my god, that was sick. Oh, he's got one treble hook in him. There's a 99% chance this guy jumps off. Oh shoot. Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Holy crap, I think I, I think I'm, I think, I think he shook, he shook the, he shook my lure and now I'm hooked into a line that's hanging out of his mouth. A circle hook. Holy crap. What in the world? Dude, I'm hooked into braid that's onto a leader that has a circle hook in his mouth. What in the world? Oh my God, this is gonna be a landing and a half here. All right, let's see what we're working with here. This is kind of confusing. He's like a 20 pound tarpon, 25 pound tarpon. I just gotta be very careful of the treble hooks on the Yozuri because it's sticking like three feet above. 
where the tarpon's hooked. Oh my gosh. I see green. <clears throat> Looks like green power pro and then maybe 40 pound leader. This is like one in a million right here. I just need to get that circle hook out of his mouth and I can unhook this leader. At least I hope he didn't swallow it. I can't really tell what he's got going on here. going on here so it looks like he swallowed the hook for some reason I thought I saw a circle hook but I didn't yeah there's like a hook somewhere down his throat so what I'm gonna try to do is cut it as deep as I can in his mouth so he's not hanging so he doesn't have a leader <sighs> all right we trimmed it up for him unfortunately that's just gonna how that's how it's just gonna have to be he's gonna have that little bit of leader in his mouth because he swallowed that hook, but that's a beautiful tarpon. That was awesome. Holy crap. All right. That was so weird. So yeah, see, I hooked the braid. The braid got tangled up in the treble hook. That's crazy. Well, at least I got the braid all out of his mouth. Now he's just got maybe six inches of leader coming out of his throat, but that sucks, man. Good fish, though. At least we helped him out a little bit. Oh. Just gotta cut this crap out of my hooks now. All right, we're all good. Yozuri's free. Let's uh, try to get another one, one that doesn't have leader in his mouth. Oh, there we go. Tarpon on it. Eat it again, eat it again, eat it again. Okay, I don't think he's still following it. Oh, there we go. Missed it, come on. Alrighty guys, so we are going to actually just continue the video tomorrow for today. I actually didn't have much action past those three, uh, the three topwater blowups. And other than that, I tried mullet, I tried terrorize, I tried another topwater, got some blowups, stuff like that, but didn't end up catching anything past the, past the one tarpon. So we'll finish off this video tomorrow and uh, I guess we'll probably start off getting live mullet. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so I just stuck, I should have about 24-ish mullet in the bucket here now. These guys are little ones, these are like 4 or 5 inches. These will work perfect for tarpon, big and small. Get them in the bucket here. And then we're going to go catch some tarpon, so check those guys out. Really nice mullet. Alright guys, so I got my mullet right here. Unfortunately, I just noticed that... Literally all the mullet and I had in my bucket died. I think that's because the air stone was not sitting on the bottom. I had it pinned down and the little anchor I had on it popped up. So the air stone popped to the surface and none of the mullet could get oxygen. So they died. So I'm down to this mullet and one other one. And then after that, I'm just going to throw a DOA terrorize. Oh crap. So I'm just trying to eat my mullet right there. Oh, it's a tarpon. Oh, well, let's let him eat it comes up again but after after this mullet I'm gonna switch to a DOA terrorize see if we can get some of the little juvie tarpon to eat that oh hello 
Check out this guy. Manatee. What's up, buddy? It's a baby. Pretty small manatee, actually. Oh, I found a couple. Oh, yeah, there they are rolling. Oh, I got thumped. All right. It's a decent one. All right. One mullet, one tarpon. <sighs> Not a giant or anything. Probably 20 pounds, 25 pounds. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna take this tarpon. I'm gonna lead him over to the shallow area because there is a dolphin hanging out in the deeper water. And I want him to release and go into the trees. So we're gonna go over to the trees and then try to release him there. We're gonna try to unhook this guy. He's hooked in the bottom of the lip, which is kind of sketchy, because that hook. Oh, okay. We got the tarpon. He's just hooked in the bottom of the lip, which is a really sketchy spot. Oh, two hands, two hands. Really sketchy spot to hook a tarpon because that's right where you uh, that's right where the best spot is to grab them. But it is a good spot to hook them because they don't normally come off there. <clears throat> okay, he's unhooked right here. Now the dolphins are sitting out in the open water here. I'm gonna try to just turn them away. Hopefully, he goes into those mangroves there and is able to escape the, the dolphins. All right, two fish in this video, and both have been sketchy places, or sketchy ways to hook fish, but I think I got one more mullet. Let's try to get one more. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. He's on the motor, he's on the motor. All right, he's off the motor. Ah! Dang it. Broke the knot? I'm not sure what broke. Looks like maybe my knot might have popped. Or maybe he just cut it right there. Hard to tell. Ah! Dang it, I wanted that fish on the terror ice.
Alrighty, so back in the car now, guys. It was a pretty slow day. Besides that one tarpon, there really wasn't much action. I, I'm pretty happy that really I got one chance at it and landed him, which was solid. After like last video where I was losing, uh, fish were jumping off left and right. It's it's good to just make it work today. I only had one mullet because of the uh, freaking bubbler. I don't even know what happened. It messed up on me and most of my mullet died. And uh, pretty good, we made it happen. But if you guys enjoyed the video today, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, well, tell me why you didn't enjoy it in the comments. And other than that, I will uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys. Let's go. It could all be worse. I could be a hater like you. It could all be worse. Close to make the man, but that poison's gonna chew you.